Hi there, boys and girls. Are you ready for story time today? We're going to read Arthur's Family Vacation. I know there's a lot of families planning vacations right about now, and this is a great story by Mark Brown. It was Arthur's last day of school, and Mr. Ratburn gave the class a surprise spelling test. All the other classes were having parties. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, said Mr. Ratburn. Report cards and school's out. Everyone cheered. I can't wait for baseball practice to start, said Francine. I'm taking a college computer course, the brain announced. I'll really miss you at Camp Meadowcroak this year, Arthur, Buster said. I wish I didn't have to go on family on my family vacation, said Arthur. There'll be nothing to do and no one to do it with. You'll have D.W., Buster said, smiling, for a whole week. Don't remind me, said Arthur. <clears throat> I think he'd rather spend time with Buster than his sister, D.W. Arthur's family spent that night packing. I wish I could take my dollhouse, said D.W. I wish Buster could come, said Arthur. This is a family vacation, said Mother. All we need for fun is each other, said Father. Let's take my swing set, said D.W. We can all use that. Well, we're all packed, Father said the next morning. Where's Arthur? He's on the phone with Buster, said Mother. For the hundredth time, D.W. added. Before we leave, said Father, does anyone need to use the bathroom? This is your last chance, said Mother. Don't look at me, said D.W. <clears throat> On our way at last, Mother smiled, a whole week of no cooking. And no dishes, said Father. A whole week without my best friend in the whole wide world, moaned Arthur. Once you're at the beach, you'll feel better, Father said. Are we there yet, asked D.W. I have to go to the bathroom. Arthur spent the rest of the trip thinking about how much fun Buster must be having at camp. Do you remember we read Arthur's story about going to camp not too long ago? We're here, said Mother. Welcome to Ocean View, said the manager. Where's the ocean? asked Father. Just across that highway, behind the shopping center, the manager pointed. But there's a pool right here. Well, I guess I'll go swimming, said Arthur. Me too, said D.W. Wait for me. Let's see our room first, said Mother. <coughs> You mean we have to stay in this puny little room? asked D.W. Don't worry, said Mother. We'll only be sleeping here. If you want to swim, said Arthur, you better hurry up and get your suit on. We have the whole pool, pool to ourselves, said Arthur. It's a good thing, too, said D.W. Our bathtub is bigger than this. Pool, is it? <clears throat> that night at dinner, everyone ordered lobster. Buster loves lobster, said Arthur. This is lobster, said D.W. I want a hot dog. Can we go to the beach tomorrow, Arthur asked. Good idea, said Father. I'm sure the rain will stop by then. See, it's raining outside.
No beach today, D.W. announced the next morning. I had a dream about Buster, said Arthur. Why don't you write him a postcard, Mother suggested. Why don't we all write postcards, said Father. Well, what do we write about, said D.W. We haven't done anything yet. <clears throat> the next page has their postcards. Here's the one that, that Arthur wrote to Buster. Dear Buster, I bet you're having fun at camp. I wish I were there. Your best friend, Arthur. This is one D.W. wrote to Grandma Thora. Dear Grandma Thora, you are smart to stay home. It has X's and O for hugs and kisses. Love, D.W. Oh my goodness, more X's and O's. More kisses and hugs. What do we do now? said D.W. This vacation is a disaster. At camp there's always something fun to do, thought Arthur, even on rainy days. That's it, he said. I'm taking us on a field trip. <clears throat> I just have to find something fun to do. I've never heard of a cow festival, D.W. said, but at least it's more fun than in our, in our motel room. Say cheese, said Father. Let's hurry or, or we'll miss the milking contest, said Arthur. They're outside at a cow festival, riding a cow. They just got their umbrellas out. That's okay. For the next few days, it rained and it rained. But Arthur didn't mind. He was too busy planning new places to go. He forgot all about missing Buster. On Wednesday, they went to Gatorville. At least the alligators get a swim, said D.W. Thursday was busy, too. After touring Flo's Fudge Factory, they all went on Jimmy's Jungle Cruise. I never realized there are so many fun things to do in the rain, said Father. I want to, I want to plan a field trip, too, said D.W., a field trip to the movies. But when they got there, D.W. was too scared to watch. I thought it was a movie about fish, she whispered. The movie's called Jaws. It's about a big giant shark. Oh my goodness. It says Jaws of the Deep. Finally, on Friday, their last day, the sun came out. What a day, said Father. Just glorious, said Mother. Even D.W. was having fun. No one wanted to leave, but the next day they packed up and headed home. We're almost there, said Mother. Phew, said D.W. I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh boy, said Arthur. I can't wait to see Buster. As soon as they got home, the doorbell rang. It was Buster. Camp was fun, but I missed you, he said to Arthur. How was your vacation? How did you and D.W. get along? Great, said Arthur. Take a look. Lots of pictures. It says, wow, said Buster. You really did have a great time. The... Arthur's family vacation. I hope if you go on a family vacation, you have some fun stuff that you can find to do, even if it starts raining. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.